Haiti is the poorest country in the Western Hemisphere. The small island is known for constantly being hit with different types of natural disasters. These include hurricanes, earthquakes, floods, and other fatal and dangerous disasters. The problem is there's no way to completely stop these from no phenomenons from happening. The only solution is trying our best to prevent as much damage and, and life loss as possible. And that's where we come in. We plan to prevent damage of the Haitian island in three different ways. First off, our plan was to start mining more resources in Haiti. The Haitian government stated that there are over $20 billion in resources, such as gold, copper, and silver. He was known as Banana mining, Man, and all his money now Jovenel Moïse, corruption. a banana exporter without Haiti any experience in public has had a problem with corruption in the past, and although they have been trying to fix it, the increase in money could bring this problem back. To combat this, we need to bring in government financial advice from around the world to monitor how the money is being spent and making sure that it's going to the right place. This allows the Haitian people to make sure that it's going to the right place. To make sure all Haitians can have a better... This allows the Haitian people to not worry about the money they're producing isn't being pocketed or going somewhere it shouldn't. These mines would be a good way for people to be employed, which would have a major impact on the economy. First off, this would create hundreds, if not thousands, of jobs. Secondly, this would give the government the control of the resources that they can sell to other countries and help get areas of Haiti out of poverty. This money would not only help get the country out of poverty, but it would help the government make more strict regulations for better work buildings and homes. One concept we have researched is Japanese earthquake houses, which happens to be our next solution. If the country were to have more stable buildings, the damage would not be a problem. This would also create more jobs. If local and small businesses had more time to establish themselves and grow, they will grow bigger, requiring more employees. Japanese earthquake buildings are a system that detects earthquakes, then pushes air below the building to lift the building to get off the ground. The, communi the community can afford these systems with the revenue brought in from mining. The government can also put regulations in the place that require the systems on a building. Lastly, the rest of the world can help out with sharing the earthquake prediction gauges so that government can warm the country and have them evacuate towards future safe shelters. Countries all around the world have state-of-the-art natural disaster radars used to help their people in dangerous situations. The Haitian government can pay a country to have some of their equipment implemented in Haiti and the people of that country can keep watch. As Haiti starts becoming more advanced, then in the future the Haitian people can start monitoring and protecting their area. All these three main solutions are our main ideas to hopefully prevent lots of damage after natural disasters. They also don't require too much aid from other countries, which is one of the main goals in helping the country. And although these solutions will take time, we feel with careful execution and through hard work that Haiti can become a thriving first world country.